Well, welcome for the final word for the final time. Ten stops done on the HSBC Sevens World Series. The London Cup final was an absolute crack. And who would have picked Scotland getting up over a brave South Africa? And one of the guys who won the match for Scotland, Dougie Fife. His monks here with the uh, with the fans. Quick, take a photo, take a photo, take a photo. Hurry up, ready? One, two, three. Yay! Oh, wait, wait, another one. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's great being a superstar, right, eh, Dougie? Yeah. <laughs> Four, three, three. Oh, that's what happens when you cup. Dougie, congratulations on the cup final win, mate. You got the winner in the end. What was going through your head when you saw the uh, line open? I just looked up and, you know, we, Scott White did that amazing, just like off the top, just, just kicked the grubber kid, got the ball back, and... Before you knew it, I think the game was over. I can't, I can't actually remember that much, but we'll look back and have a good night tonight and enjoy it. What was it right from day one, game one here, or uh, on the second day when you played at England, you just seemed to get the grit against your teeth and you really aimed up? Yeah, we just stuck to our game. I think the last few tournaments, we've, we've really shown what we can do when we move the ball and we just keep the t other teams moving and open up and when, when it goes and the, the gaps there, we just take it. So you got 30 seconds left, you're two scores behind. How does that win? Where, does it, where did it come from? Uh, the, all the boys were unreal today. The, the whole 12 of us, the, the boys that started putting a huge shift and the boys come off the bench and just finished the games off. And that's what we did, fresh legs and, you know, a fresh... Uh, oh, I just can't think of it. It was just <laughs> awesome, yeah. So what was the vibe coming in to your first ever final? Was there nervousness? Well, I know the, the first time you made it. I mean, what was, what was the vibe like in the camp? Oh, obviously a lot of excitement, you know, we, we did all the hard work to get there, we thought we got one more game, let's just give it everything and, you know, the, almost you could say the pressure was off us, South Africa would have been favourites for that, of course, but, uh, you know, we just came out and played our game as we have in the last two tournaments and, you know, it, it worked. Now, I've sort of experienced myself, but what does it feel like getting that national anthem before the final? Oh, it's brilliant, you know, the, the crowd are behind us as well here in Twickenham, which was, which was pretty cool and, uh, <laughs> You know, it doesn't happen much in your life, so the boys, uh, boys loved it, and you know, it's a memory we'll, we'll keep for a long time. Oh, most definitely. Congratulations, sir, on the win. Go and enjoy it, my man. Thank you, thank you. Well, we're going to smoke bomb this little huddle here with these uh, Scottish boys. Mr. Adele, congratulations on the win, mate. You've been in the team for a long time now, but that must be definitely a highlight. Oh, I think it's my 50th tournament, and I'll just remember it forever. Like, it was incredible. So. What was the chat before the England game? Because it seemed once you got over them and the way you dismantled them, the self-belief was outstanding. I think we just always try and focus on what we do best, like move the ball, work hard in support and, you know, work hard in D as well. So that was the basis of it. And the better we can do that and stick to what we do best, then that's where our success came from. So You seem to be growing all season long. I know you've made a couple of our minor finals, but the way it all culminated this weekend, I mean, um, you sort of got the plan right and couple of young blokes started self-believing in themselves as well yeah I think we're we're always learning finding what works best for us so just that application this weekend though we, we pulled together as a group and you know just dug in and gave it everything and that's, talk about like you know putting in the effort and you'll get the rewards that's just exactly what's happened this weekend so we're we're absolutely buzzing how proud were you to stand there with the national anthem playing and talking to oh that was that was something else uh, just sang my heart out to be honest <laughs> Now, just th thinking about next season, where do you think, or what do you think you guys need to improve on to keep this and get more results like this? Uh, it's all about the consistency, isn't it? You know, doing what you do well on a consistent basis and that, that work rate desire, that, that's always going to shine through with us, but it's, it's sometimes the application, you know, the real basics. If you can look after ball in this game and attack, win the kickoffs, then you're always going to put teams under pressure. So it's a big, big focus for us. Well, I know you need to rehydrate. I need to rehydrate. It's been a long season, but congratulations on the win. Outstanding. Yeah, cheers, mate.